Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. In this video, we're gonna be doing a super fun song by the Counting Crows. It's called Mr. Jones. It has some really cool rhythms throughout. Let's get into the lesson video. So in this lesson, I'm gonna be going over the chords we use for Mr. Jones. I'm also gonna be going over for the different strumming patterns we'll be using throughout the song. And we'll also be touching on a concept called cut time, which we're gonna find out about in the bridge section of the song. So let's get into it. So first let's talk about the chords we're gonna be using for this song. We're gonna be using an A minor, a C chord, a G chord, and an F bar chord, okay? now. If you're more of a beginner now, I just wanna preface this really quick. This is more a late beginner to early intermediate song because of the sum of the stuff we're doing in here. But if you don't know bar chords yet, you can always use an F major chord. It'll sound okay, but it's not gonna sound as nice as the F bar chord, all right? That's just an option for you guys. Now, we have the verse chords here. So the chord progression is going to be A minor F, D minor G. Okay, and then it's gonna be A minor, F, G, G. And then it repeats that over and over again. So our verse is A minor, F, D minor, G, A minor, F, G, G. And if you want the chords and lyrics for the song, you can go to my website, laurenbateman.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check that out. Now the strumming pattern we're gonna use for this has a hopping rhythm. And what do I mean by hopping? It feels like almost like the chord is being cat you're being catapulted into the next measure because what we're doing most songs you know you've probably done all the chords change on a down strum right down strum well in this song at least for this verse section of the song the chords are going to be changing on the up strum they're going to be changing on the and after four so let's see what that sounds like so first I'm going to play the strumming pattern without the hop and then I'm going to play the strumming pattern with the hop and you guys will feel the difference. That's a very distinct feel to it. So the strumming pattern is one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up. So it'll sound like this, and I'm just gonna do A minor to F for now. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, one, two, three, and, four, and down, 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 up, down, now you're like, Lauren, that sounds great. Can I use that? Yes, if you're a beginner and you don't wanna do this hopping pattern I'm gonna show you, you can use that and you probably get away with the song fine. But this is what the song really sounds like. Here's the hop. See if you can hear it, see if you can feel it, okay? One, two, three, and four, and 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 It almost, when you get to that end, you almost feel like you're jumping ahead to the next measure. So it gives a real push to the song. It gives a lot more movement to the song. So this is a great song um, that has an example of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this over the chord progression of the verse so that you guys can hear it, what it's gonna sound like. And here it is, starting on A minor. So we got one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and 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 now you'll hear when we stay on that double G, obviously we're not changing a chord, so it doesn't have that hop feel to it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate this at a faster speed so that it's a little more tempo with the song. Here we go. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. A minor. Now the strumming pattern itself is not hard, that one, two, three, and four, and I would consider that a beginner level strumming pattern. It's the hop that adds the intricacy. So if you're not used to switching chords on an up strum yet, what I would practice, what I would start with is just going one, two, three, 
three, and four, and. Okay, and then go to the next one. One, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, and four, and. I would just focus on timing that chord on the up strum. It's a weird coordination between these two hands if you've never done it before. So if you're stumbling a little bit, that's okay. Like I said, just take it one, one pattern at a time. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, do it again. One, two, three, and four, and. All right, so that's how I would work through the verse. Now, an interesting thing's gonna happen in our chorus. We're actually gonna completely change strumming patterns. So I'm gonna tell you what that is, and also how you can put these two strumming patterns together. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this video lesson so far. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. This way you'll know when I release new lesson videos just like this one. Let's get back into the lesson. So our chord progression changes a bit on this chorus. We've got C, F, G, G, C, F, G, G. It just keeps repeating that over and over again. C, F, G, G. Now the difference is we're using a completely different strumming pattern. So first let's talk about that strumming pattern and how I help my students work in and out of those first two strumming patterns. So the strumming pattern for this chorus is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Right, it's gonna be one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now that's a very common very popular strumming pattern. It's a syncopated pattern because we don't have a down strum on the third beat. And a lot of students can find this very tricky going from this kind of hopping rhythm in the verse to this kind of straight syncopated pattern in the chorus and then getting back out. So this is what I work on with students to try and meld these two together because this is gonna happen in a lot of songs. Most songs don't play one strumming pattern all the way through. There's a lot of variation a lot of times, especially when songs get more intermediate. So the last two chords in the verse is G and G. And the first chord in the chorus are C and F. So what I would tell my student is say, we're gonna do the strumming pattern, the first one on G, and then we're gonna do the second strumming pattern on G. We're not gonna change the chord, we're just gonna work on the strumming pattern. So I would have them start with one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, and then we're gonna go right into down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And we would do that again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And once they figured that out, I'd say, okay, now let's put the chords in there. Let's do the double G and then the C and the F. So we've got one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we would do that again and again until they could smooth it out. That transition's not so bad. Sometimes usually people have transition getting back into the other one with that hop. So we would do the same thing. The last chord on the chorus is a G chord. The first chord on the verse is an A minor. So again, I would just say, hey, let's, we've already practiced it going back and forth. Let's try going from G to A minor. So we would have G with the second strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Now A minor, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you see, you just take small pieces you take the weird, like the seam is, and we work on the seam and fit those together, smooth that out, and then we go back and play through the entire thing. If you guys are enjoying this video and looking to get into more intermediate type strumming patterns, check out my course below. I'll give you guys a special discount just for being my YouTube viewers. 
I'll see you guys back in the lesson. All right, so welcome to the bridge of this amazing Counting Crows song. Something super cool here. I love when this happens. It totally opens up the music. We're hitting cut time. So what does that mean? So this song is played at about 130 beats per minute, okay? And all of a sudden, the song sounds like we're playing it at 65 beats per minute. So even though these measures are only one measure long, it feels like all of a sudden they've gotten two measures long. What do I mean? So th this is how I would count it. I, for me, instead of being like, well, it's 16, 65 beats per minute and now I have to count quarter notes, I just double the measures. So what does that feel like? So it's gonna be like, I will never be one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So you see now, I'm counting two measures instead of one measure. Because essentially what that's doing is I'm taking the timing of the song and I'm cutting it in half. Cut time. Cut it in half, okay? So all of the these chords, we're just going to be strumming once, but it's going to seem like a really long space of time. So the chord progression here, let's just go over that real quick. It's going to be A minor, G. A minor F, okay? And then we play that again. A minor G, A minor F, and then we have A minor, and then this final G we start strumming on again. So if I go through this, um, I'll never be lonely, three, four, one, never gonna be lonely. I wanna be a lion, and everybody wanna pass the cats. We all wanna be big, big stars, yeah, but we got different reasons for that. Believe in me, cause I don't believe in anything. Now this last line here, A minor C, we're still gonna do the strums on the A minor. And I wanna be someone who believes, who believes, who believes, yeah. Now, you can either go back to the down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. So on that G, that final G, we're back to 130 beats per minute. So it's, it's a very strange thing because you go from being very slow to being very fast. We're back up to normal time. So you can either do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, or I like to do uh, like a crescendo, like a all downs. And, uh, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mr. Jones and me. So I'll kind of do a build on the first uh, measure, and then the second measure, I'll throw on the regular strumming pattern. Just some ideas for you guys to get in and out of this bridge. And then after the bridge, we're just back to the chorus. Mr. Jones and me. And you're right back into this. And that finishes out the song. So take a listen to that bridge part. It's very cool, something very cool rhythmically called cut time. So check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love thumbs up. YouTube's gonna pop a couple more videos up over here. Make sure to go check those out. And again, if you're interested in my intermediate strumming course, check out the link below this video.